people who regularly drink ayahuasca may relate to death in a very different way. That's the main takeaway from a new study in the journal Psychopharmacology. It suggests that long-term ayahuasca users tend to experience less fear, anxiety, and avoidance around death. Instead, they show more emotional acceptance. And the reason may not be religious belief or personality. It may be something called impermanence acceptance, the ability to feel at ease with change and the fact that everything, including life, eventually passes. Ayahuasca is a traditional Amazonian brew containing DMT, a powerful psychedelic compound, and other natural ingredients that make it active when consumed. Indigenous communities have used it for generations in rituals aimed at healing and spiritual insight. People who take it often describe intense emotional experiences, sometimes involving visions of death, rebirth, or the dissolution of the self. These death-themed experiences caught the attention of researchers at the University of Haifa, who wanted to understand how ayahuasca might shape people's thinking about mortality. The team, led by Jonathan David and Yair Dorziedemann, studied 107 people. Half were experienced ayahuasca users who had consumed the brew dozens of times, and the other half had never used any psychedelic substances. Both groups were similar in age, education, and mental health. Each participant completed a range of psychological tests designed to measure how they respond to thoughts of death. Their searches used not only self-report questionnaires, but also reaction time tasks to capture unconscious emotional responses. Ayahuasca users consistently scored lower on death anxiety and fear of dying. They were less likely to avoid death-related thoughts or situations. They also tended to show greater acceptance of death as a natural part of life. These differences were strong and consistent across all measures. The findings suggest a broad shift in emotional and cognitive patterns rather than a temporary mood change. To understand why, the researchers explored possible explanations. Maybe ayahuasca users simply believed more strongly in an afterlife, which could make death seem less frightening. Or maybe they were more open-minded or more mindful. But none of these factors accounted for the differences. The key predictor was impermanence acceptance, a mindset of embracing change and seeing life as transient. This psychological trait fully explained why ayahuasca users related to death differently. People who scored higher in impermanence acceptance were less anxious about death and more willing to confront it calmly. Interestingly, simply knowing that life is impermanent wasn't enough. What mattered was emotionally accepting that fact. The team also found a link between impermanence acceptance and a specific kind of ayahuasca experience called ego dissolution. That's when a person temporarily loses their usual sense of self. During these experiences, boundaries between self and world can blur or disappear. The researchers suggest that going through ego dissolution may train the mind to loosen its grip on identity making it easier to accept life's temporary nature. This could mean that ayahuasca helps people rehearse, in a sense, for the ultimate loss, the loss of the self at death. The idea is that the brain learns to experience transformation and endings without panic. It's a form of psychological flexibility that may ease existential fear. Still, the researchers are cautious. The study was cross-sectional, meaning it captured data at one point in time. That makes it difficult to tell whether ayahuasca use causes these attitudes or whether people who already accept impermanence are more likely to use ayahuasca. The sample size was modest, and many participants had also tried other psychedelics, like psilocybin or LSD, which might influence results. Another open question is whether this effect is unique to ayahuasca or common top psychedelics in general. A follow-up study with psilocybin users is already underway, and early results suggest similar patterns. That would point to a broader link between psychedelic experiences and reduced death anxiety. The research team is also investigating what happens in the brain when people experience ego dissolution, whether through psychedelics or meditation. They're trying to understand how these states might reshape neural networks, 
related to self-awareness and fear. For more details on this study and other research into psychedelics and psychology, visit scipost.org.